Hey everyone, it's David with Varmeter Magazine. Today, we're gonna to be mounting up our Burris Full Field E1 optic on this custom 204 Ruger build using Fix It Sticks new scope jack, and we will be talking about their scope leveling kit. Stick around. All right, today we're gonna to be mounting up this optic. We have the Burris Full Field E1, and this is a six and a half to 25, 20 by 50 millimeter objective with a one inch tube. And we're gonna be mounting it up on our 204 Ruger. So last year at SHOT Show, we stopped by the Fix It Sticks booth and we were introduced to something they had new out and it was called the Scope Jack. So this is a, a little leveling instrument that you can get to mount up things when they you have a Picatinny rail available. This costs about $44. The second thing that they had was a level kit, a scope level kit. And this piece, this kit consists of two pieces. One is a Picatinny rail bubble level with a small level that you will set on top of the elevation turret to level it out. What was really interesting about this is for years I had used a US Optics uh, bubble level Picatinny mount and I also at one time had purchased the Wheeler reticle leveling set. Now this kit comes with two pieces one is a barrel mount and the other one is a bubble level that you would sit on again the top of the turret so i never really liked the base i found it very cumbersome hard to get level it was just my experience but i absolutely love this so what fix it sticks did is they took the best of both worlds for me personally and they offered it in this one kit so i thought that was a fantastic idea to market so Let's get into this. Um, today I'm gonna to be using these Burris XTR signature rings. Now, if you have not worked with these rings before, they actually have a plastic inserts, interchangeable plastic inserts, so that you can adjust your cant or uh, vertical, or you can adjust windage with them by rotating the ring around to give you. So the first set of these I, ever purchased was on a rifle and the holes for my scope base were not perfectly parallel or right in line with the center of my bore. They were actually shifted a little bit. So what I found is they were about 25 minutes out of, <laughs> off of alignment. And that was a factory production rifle and what Burris has done is they give you plus and minus inserts that you can insert on the inside of these rings to make any kind of adjustment necessary. So what I got here is I got my fix it sticks. We're going to go ahead and get the right size here. Looks to be, I'm going to guess and say a T20 or 25. It's a T25. And we're just gonna mount these rings up uh, on, on our rifle and we'll take the top rings off. Now, when I was looking through the manual that Burris provides, I did not find any torque specifications on their rings. Of course, we have the internet readily at our fingertips. So a quick search and what I found was the base of these rings should be torqued to the spec I saw was between 40 and 70 and the rings that's for the base and the rings themselves uh, 20 to 50 so I'm just tightening just gently tightening these up okay I've got my base screws at least snug and I'm grabbing my fix-it sticks torque a limiter and I'm grabbing the 25 inch pounds and slowly building up torque as I kind of work my way across these rings. 
Now the base on these rings uses a T25 as I said, however the tops of the rings, the rings themselves, use a T15. So be aware that, that those are the two torque sizes you're going to need with these. Pop off this, plug in my T15 and we'll take these off real quick. Okay, got my rings, the top portions of my rings taken off. Let's go ahead and grab our optic. Burris is forever guarantee, no questions asked. It's always good. Now when I put the bases, when I snugged up the base screws, those were at 25 inch pounds. Those need to obviously go up and I will probably use the torque limiter I have for 53 inch pounds. It's you know in the realm of 40 to 70 as the specification designates. All right. Got my scope mounted up and still have quite a bit of rotation available. I may snug these down just a little bit more to limit that while still giving me ample room to play with here. There we go. Just one is all I need to get the uh, reticle level. I can still rotate it. All right, so the way that our scope jack works is you have a tightening screw on the side and you have what you will raise over here is a quarter inch attachment. So I just have a quarter inch driver you put it in after your Picatinny is tight, raise this up, lock it down underneath of the scope. So, loosen this up. See if I can fit it underneath. It does fit. That's tight. Now, put our quarter inch driver in and we will raise this up and ever so slightly, you know, rock our scope back and forth until we see no light coming through the contact surface underneath or that we ensure that it's parallel. That's pretty good. Let's just see how it feels. looks level to me. So that is the first method using the scope jack. So let's say that we did not have a pick rail here. All right. The second product that Fix, Fix It Sticks has offered is the leveling kit. So and I say that it wouldn't fit. Um, not we would do need a pick rail for this this obviously to work. We also need a pick rail for this up to work. If you had neither no no pick rail on it, that's where you would have to get into using the Weaver um, or the Wheeler system, or another method of your choosing, using a plumb bob leveling your rifle. So this would work. I have plenty of room here. I can stick my finger clearly underneath of the scope. But let's say that, you know, I did not have enough room to fit this in. What I what you could do then is you would take this portion. I can fix it up here on the rail. I can fix it underneath. And again, this is our bubble level. 
mounted on the pick rail. I'll mount it the opposite way here. So you can see this coming out the other side. Okay. We would then level the rifle left to right. I'll do this right now. And then we would take this bubble level, set it on top of the turret, and ensure that both read the same thing. And they're extreme, it's, it's right on. So by using this, I was able to gain a perfect level and then confirmed it with this system. Um, now these systems are meant to be used independent of one another, you know, either one or the other. Here I just had them both at my disposal, so I went ahead and verified. I absolutely think both of these are fantastic products that will save a great deal of time when getting scopes mounted up, leveling your reticle to the fall of gravity, and getting out in the field and hunting and shooting, because that's what it's all about. So. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I'd be happy to answer any questions I can regarding these products. Uh, for more information, head over to fixitsticks.com. As always, if you like what you're seeing here on the channel, please subscribe. It really helps out our channel grow, and like and share this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.